Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's the very importance. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 2, verse 12. And to the angel of the church of Pergamos write, These things saith he which has a sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. For I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balaam to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of Nicolaitis, which, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that received it. Now we see another church. We see a church that Rome has accepted. This church. Rome persecuted Samaria. Rome has now entwined into Pergamos. Pergamos means married or much marriage. And we see that Christ with the two-edged sword, that's the word of God. We, he knows where they dwell in. Satan's seat. Satan's seat is here. Notice how Satan now is starting to show up. In the first, in the second church, Samaria, in verse nine, it was the synagogue of Satan. Pretend to be Jews. Now you have Satan's seat is in Pergamos, and we have uh, break it down. And the angel of the church in Pergamos write, "These things saith he, Jesus, which has a sharp sword with two edges." We know that's the word of God. And it's amazing. We saw that the first church, he has the stars, the churches, the church, the candlestick. We saw in the second one that he was first and last, dead and alive, and the church where the Roman Catholic Church enters into the marriage. We see the word of God. That's kind of interesting. Because the next church... We're not going to do it tonight. But the next church, the Roman Catholic Church, will make a decree and say the, the Bible is forbidden. I know thy works. God knows what we're doing. God knows what's going on in the churches. Good churches and bad churches. But these are written to churches and church times where they're supposed to be right in God. He's not writing to the, 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 the apostate churches. He's not writing to heathen churches. He's writing to churches under the name of Jesus Christ of people that are saved. I know what you're doing. So you boast all you want, Laodicea. I know the truth. 
I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan seated, which is very interesting. Uh, in 133 B.C., the Babylonian ways under King Attilus, A-T-T-A-L-U-S the third, brought that and sat down as a rulership in Pergamos. This is dated. It's amazing how all these do happen. And thou be thou holdest fast my name, the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going through the hymns right now, and I'm doing a study with the hymns and breaking them down. And it's amazing how many hymns do not have the name of Jesus Christ. And when I do find one that's right and does have Jesus, man, I'm, amen, glory to God. There is one name above all names. There is no other name given by men whereby you must be saved. That is the name of Jesus Christ. And this church in Pergamos, though they are being, they were they were persecuted. Now that now the Catholic Church has stepped in, they are still holding fast to the name of Jesus Christ, and has not denied my faith. You know what they were doing in uh, Sar Samaria? If, you know we will let you go if you recant Jesus Christ. You know what they're going to do inside of Tara? They're going to have the Inquisition. If you recant Jesus Christ and eat the body of Jesus Christ and drink his blood, that, that is the body of Christ, that is the blood of Jesus Christ, we will no longer persecute you. Hold fast my name has not denied my faith. Even those days wherein Anipus, a man known by God a martyr, was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. So Satan wants to kill Christians. And that's in history. You're going to see this now. You're going to see this next church. You saw it in the previous church. You need to pick up and find Fox's Book of Martyrs. While you can still buy it. While you can still read it. And you need to know about our brethren. These are our brothers and sisters. You're going to meet these people. Though they're unnamed. They are named in heaven. But I have a few things against thee. Because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Balaam. The doctrine. Is teaching Balaam to corrupt the people. The Israelite people. Go mix with the with the, the people of the land. The women of the land. Married unto them. Take part of their sacrifices. Take part of their, their idolatry. Eat. Eat. Of their gods. Eat. Of those gods. Well, guess what church we're going to have next? Guess what church has now come into the church of God? The church of Jesus Christ. What is going to be the next thing? You're going to find the next church age, Lord willing. You're going to find that the mass is now in order. The next church. Not this one. But we're getting ready. We're getting ready. Which taught Balak the stumbling block for the children of Israel. Notice there, there's a definite name of the children of Israel because the church that we're now talking about in Rome will deny Israel. They will claim that they are the Jews. They are the promised ones of God. That the Jewish people, they're done with. They're finished with. God is all finished with them. It is us, the great Gentiles. It is us bringing a great kingdom in without Jesus Christ. And God still knows the Jews. To eat things, sacrifice unto idols. Oh. What's that church do? And to commit fornication. What's that church do? So, so far we have a church as much married. It is, it is the true church married to the foreign church. This runs from 312 to 606 AD. And those, those dates can vary. It, they're not exact. We have church and state. We read about a king today in our Bible in 2 Chronicles. He ordered the people, we're going to destroy all the relics. We're going to destroy all the idolatry. We're going to destroy, we're going to destroy Baal. We're going to get everything <coughs> that does not worship God. We are going to clean that temple. We're going to get right. That's the proper church and state. This is not the proper church and state. This is where the state comes into the church and tells them, Absent from the Bible. Absent what God has told them to do. It's pagan festivals here. 
in verse 14. And uh, we're now going to start seeing Constantine. Constantine comes into the churches. Constantine that saw that vision in the air that God told him, go conquer. He didn't see nothing but, but the relics of an old bologna sandwich he had before he went to bed. Constantine, who will set up the Roman Catholic Church, has now come into this church. Constantine ends the bloodshed of Samaria by bringing church marriage to the world. And you see that they are sacrificing to idols and commit fornication. When did the Christmas trees, when did the Easter bunnies come in? Why are they in the churches, the Baptist churches of 2017, the Church of Pergamos? Well, it's okay to have a Christmas tree. It's okay. Uh, what did God say? He said, I got something against you. Because you were eating those idols, you were committing that fornication. Come on, preacher, you preach about adultery, you preach about fornication, but you don't treat, treat about spiritual fornication and spiritual idolatry and spiritual adultery. You don't teach about that. Why you sit up that tree and you have your trunk or tree chasing the Easter bunnies and whatever you else you do, Easter dresses and, and katanas. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of Nicolaitan. There's the clergy. There's the bishop. There's the archbishop. There's the cardinals. There's the pope. We are much better than those people. You don't go to the Bible. You come to us for direction. Our traditions and us, we overlie and overlay the Bible. You come to us. You got sins? You don't go to God. You come to us. We'll take care of your sins. You're just little people. You don't know what you're doing. You have no idea. God speaks to us, not to you. You know the Sadducees, the Pharisees, they had that thing in, in, in Jesus. In LSB. You, you believe Jesus is she's looking at sinner? He's eating with those publicans? Ew. And that's the same thing here. We have had a, a, a transition here from a right apostate church with apostles helping out, going out in all the world. We have we've gone to the persecution. We've got where Rome persecutes the church. And now we got Rome in the church and we are seeing a, a statewide ch church being set up. So has those them that hold the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which thing God says I hate. There it is. Well, I'm a Catholic. And I, God says I hate that. I go to my priest. God says I hate that. I take mass. I hate that. How are you going to get into heaven? How are you going to rely on Mary? How are you going to trust your church? To save your soul when God says that outfit I hate. What are you going to do with that? Repent. Repent. Repent of that church. Repent of being married to the world, Christian. Repent. Or else I will come unto thee quickly. So in the tribulation period, Satan is going to marry into the congregation of the Jews. He's already got a false synagogue in the church of Samaria. Well, that synagogue is going to coexist with his religious setup. And that's going to anger God even more. And it's already called the, the time of Jacob's trouble. And I would think this would be sometime around the three and a half years where God says, the great tribulation, you have done exactly what I told you not to do, and you hate it. Your history said, you do not hold the Nicolaitans, which I hate. You don't do it. Skip a church age, and now you're allowing it. Quickly. And we'll fight against them. With the sword of my mouth. I am going to get you with the word of God. I am going to quote scripture. I'm going to do what I did to Satan on that in uh, Matthew chapter 4. 
When you come before me, I'm going to quote scripture. I'm going to tell you where you're wrong. And we're not in the land to see in church age yet. But when we get to the land to see in church age, you wait to these Christians. There's going to be a lot less than what people think there. Wait till they stand the judgment seat of Christ and shock that most of their stuff is burnt. And God will break out the Bible and show them where they're wrong. And there goes, well, that didn't sound like the Bible. Yeah, okay, number two, you had the wrong Bible. I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. That sword out of his mouth comes back also at the second advent to destroy his enemies. But first it's used on his people. So those unrighteous people who do not have anything to do with God, whether, whether God says God's salvation, they can't say, well, what about those people that are standing on your side right now? I've already got my word after them. I've already punished them for not doing my word. I told them what the Bible said. I'm done with them. They either got their crowns rewards or they didn't get nothing. Now it's your turn. And God will quote to them, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Avoid fornication, avoid strangulation, avoid this. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. To him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not. To him, it, those will be the verses that God will quote to the Christian that don't do right. Get this church out. And they don't listen. And because they don't listen, we will get to the church of Thyatira, Lord willing, tomorrow night. And boy, will it be a mess. Will they reap what they sold here? They should have went to that Roman church and say, oh, God says, get out. What, what you guys are doing is completely wrong. But who wants to be killed? Who wants to be strangled? Who wants to be tortured? Who wants to lose it all? He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcometh, and we've already looked at, 1 John 4, 4, and 1 John 5, 4. That's not the Christian today in the church age. I've already overcame by the blood of Jesus Christ. This passage has to go to the tribulation. And to the tribulation, this would have to go to the Jewish people who will be gathered together as churches. And they won't be the bride of Christ. Because they'll be their 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 husband is God, not Jesus Christ. And it can to it can have two applications. Overcome will I give to eat the hidden manna? Well, who had that? Where is a Christian in the church age? All right, I'll give you manna. Why are they going to need manna? Why are they going to need hidden manna? Was the manna hidden in the wilderness for 40 years? Absolutely not. They went out and gathered it. Since the Antichrist is going to be chasing them and looking for them, it's got to be hidden. And they're going to need the manna because if they don't get no manna, there's none of them going to get saved because you can't eat or drink or do anything without that mark. So the manna is coming back. That is... History, yet we are erasing history today, and history will repeat itself with the manna for the Jews. And when those Jews start getting those manas, and they got the book of Revelation, here we are. This is where we are right now. Oh boy, it's only going to get worse. We're going to have one great church age before it really flops. And will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written. Now I've heard all kinds of stories. I've heard all kinds of things. All right. I'll tell you what it is. You ready? It's a white stone, and will have your name on it that no one else would know. You know, the story where a traveler would come and they take a rock and they write the name on it, bust the rock and oh, blah, blah, blah. I've heard. It don't say it. It just says a white stone. Why a white stone? I don't know. But you know what's remarkable about this white stone? Is it shows up in secret societies. 
You know, they got a bag of stones. There's five black ones and one white one and all that. But here's a clean white stone, and there's a name on it, which no man knoweth save he that received it. I mean, I don't know how you can apply that to the church age. We're going to get a new body. I don't know if we're going to get a new name. But we can't read more into what the pastor says. Is this a stone? You'll be given a stone. I mean, a Christian gets a crown. A right to reign, not a stone. So that period, Pergamos, is a time that Rome comes in and they allow it. And this church is still active in 2017. You look at a lot of the stuff that the churches do today. And people like me, churches hate. Because old Stalin will run Mother's Day all the way back to pagan Rome. <laughs> Stalin will take birthdays and run into the Bible and say, oh, it's a bad thing. Stalin will take this holiday. We can't enjoy nothing with Stalin bringing it back to you know, false paganism. You can enjoy Jesus Christ because he's pure only way through life. Everything else is not pure. It's not the life. It's not the truth. So why do you got it? And they have the same attitude that these people in the Pergamos church. I'll just allow it. Save our butt. They're not persecuting us anymore. So God must be approved of it because we're not... We're, we're, we're not being persecuted. We're not being yelled at. We're not being killed. We can keep... And by the way, this is probably when churches start showing up. I mean, buildings. The Baptist church and then, and then this church here. Because now Rome is not attacking them. All are welcome here. This is where your church buildings will show up. This is where the mass is going to come. From Thyatira. It's not here yet. You couldn't have the church buildings in Samaria. Because. Oh. That's a church. Let's go in there and kill them all. But, oh they're having services at 7 a.m. Okay. Let's go kill them at 7 a.m. Can't do that. And you can't have church buildings in Ephesus. Because they're too busy going all around the Asia. Preaching the word of God. And being persecuted. Read the life of Paul. Man, there's one place they stoned him. I don't think you said a church building there. But now that Rome and the, and the government and the state, hey, maybe they'll give you a 501c too. Maybe you can take your, what you give to the church and you can claim it on your taxes. And God said, I hate that. Now, you got a problem with that? You got a problem with me talking about bringing all this junk into the churches today and the way you got your church set up with the, with the state? You have a problem with God, not with me.